Hi, everybody. It's Nancy from Nancy's Hooked on Crochet. Thanks for stopping by. Well, this is probably not going to be a really long video because I've got a little sore throat thing going on, but I got kind of excited because I finished my next project and I wanted to show you all what I did. So, also, I wanted to talk about a few other things. I, uh, last week, last week was a rough week. I wanted to start a project and then I made a mistake, so I had to rip it out. And then I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby, but the baby, my grandbaby got sick and I was babysitting. So I wasn't going anywhere, but I think it was Thursday, he, the other grandma picked him up. So I drove over to the Hobby Lobby because I knew that I called up. And they told me that they finally had the clearance. I had been there the week before. Everybody in town was getting the clearance yarn. And I wasn't getting anything. I went there for the first time like a week before. And there wasn't any clearance. So when I got there, quite a bit of it was gone. So, <clears throat> so I, you know, looked around. And luckily there was some stuff left over, you know. So that Thursday, so I drove down there and I picked I picked up a bunch of yarn. I'll show you a few of them. I won't show you every single one. A few of them in a minute. And uh, got home and I wasn't home very long and I had I caught the stomach virus from my grandbaby. So there wasn't any a whole lot of crochet going on last week. So I got really sick, and I was like all excited, got home with this bag of yarn, and just shoved it in the closet, and that's where it stayed until, you know, until now. Anyway, I pulled out a few things. I bought, uh, let's see. There's a knot on the bag. I got a bunch of these yarn bee sh sugar wheels. This, this one I got three. It was really the only there wasn't a lot of decent stuff left. This one was a dollar seventy four, and they're originally six ninety eight. So at least I'm being frugal, and you know I like to get a good deal. Everybody's getting it. So I got three of these. Then I bought this one looks really nice. I think one of them I got like six. It might be this one. And they're also a dollar seventy-four. I just grabbed I cleared the shelf of these things. I like the acrylic and I could always make another blanket for my grandbaby. And I got a, I got a couple other colors. I'll spare you. Then this wasn't marked because they had, you know, they had labeled all the yarn, but they also had put like white pieces of paper, kind of like this, written on it, you know, like the price, so you'd know there's the clearance item. But this one wasn't marked, so yeah, it's, I think it's a bulky. It's this yarn bee fire side. I never use this kind of yarn. It's it's kind of like look at it. I hope I don't regret it. <laughs> hope I don't regret it. It's a uh, number. Well, it says to use a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook or a six millimeter knitting needles, but I don't, in USA size 10, I don't knit. And it says it's 97% acrylic and 3% polyester. Anyway, I got a bunch of these. They were a dollar sixty-two. Some of them were more because some of the things were marked a different price, so it went according to whatever it was priced. This was priced six forty-nine originally, so I mean you can't go wrong for a dollar sixty-two. I'm thinking about trying to make a sweater for my grandbaby for the fall. There's a video on Bagel Day that I wanted to try that maybe wasn't going to be too difficult. <laughs> so I mean I could only try and see how it goes. So that's on one of my to-do lists.
so I got like six of those. Or I could make a blanket. You know, so. And then I got this other yarn that was the same. Oh, I pulled the thing out. This is called Baby B Angel Fleece, and it's also thick, and it's got that kind of. So I got three of these, and they were $1.49. So I just hope that uh, I can work with it. Something else I haven't tried yet. Oops. And then I got uh, this here, Fair Isle. I like, it has purples, blues, and mint green. And it says it's uh, acrylic and alpaca. So I never tried that before. It, it's a it's a lighter weight yarn because it takes you use well it says use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook so I thought it said it was a three I'm looking at it uh, anyway I don't know I might try to make a shawl out of that for myself or for somebody else I'm planning on making my sister a shawl soon and mailing it to her she lives in Texas I haven't, you know, that would be nice. Haven't seen her in a while, so I was thinking I'd make my sister something. Also, let's see, I was going to share with you a couple of, when we moved, I found all my, whatever crochet that was in my house that my kids had. I still have some of those things. I have to figure, I still have some stuff. See, this is from my children. It's over 30 years old. It's a little pilly, but it held up. So, I mean, crochet is, this one's really big. So, I guess it's like a crib size. And I still have one my mother made. I'll just show it to you. There used to be a pillow, and I can't find it. I'm yet to try a chevron. So, my mother made this. My son is 36. So, this is over 36 years old. And it's in good condition. So it's amazing how long these things can last. It's a little beat up, but I mean, I, I washed it in the machine and stuff like that. I mean, it's not like it's just made, but it's it's not torn or anything like that. Maybe a little pilly. It's probably been, and there's stuff that I had that is missing. So that's it for now. So it's a show and tell for the uh, old stuff. I did make something new. Yeah. Did make something new that I wanted to show you all. It was, uh, I, I found it on this Lencia's YouTube channel. And she, I had showed it to you all last time I was here. And what happened was I made a mistake. And I ended up ripping it all out. And then re-looking at the video and taking my time. And then she didn't have a written pattern. Not that I can read them anyway. And what I basically did was I wrote notes. And then I went back and started over. It was a four-row repeat. Once you, once you got past the first two rows, then it just was four. Well, the first row and then, you know, the setup row. Then it was like just four rows kept repeating. And... I'll show it to you. One second. I made it in purple. And I just used regular yarn. It wasn't like she used a really nice yarn that was. It's really warm. See? It looks like leaves. She used like a sport weight, a number three. It, but this is a number four. Regular yarn, but I still like it. I still like it. I don't have a, a setup here for my to show off yarn. I'm starting to get a collection of. Oop! You can't see. Too close to the camera.
Yeah. I like it to cover my arms. So I took a couple of pictures outside. It looked really nice with the sun coming through. I'll try to put the uh, link to her video. But the, she's got some kind of a uh, correction in there. So that's why I, part of the reason I went back to redo it. So she had a correction in her comment section. Not in the other section, it was in the comment section. So with a lot of people, I posted it in a couple of groups and a lot of people wanted to uh, have the pattern, which I didn't have, I just had a video. Mm. But you're welcome to try it if you like it. I enjoyed it, it was a little challenge. Reminds me of when I did the pineapple shawl and had like, you know, this thing had a leaf going together that was like the pineapple or the pine cone. That's all. Anyway, so I got better from the stomach virus and now I got a scratchy throat. My husband had it and somehow I caught it. So I'm going to be done for today. But I really wanted to show you the shawl that I made and I haven't started another project. I, I tend to do one project or maybe I'll have some little thing going on. But I, it's just that thing I had four row repeat and I didn't want to get confused between different stuff. I'm still still learning. I'm not an expert or anything. But this was a challenge and I enjoyed it. And I'm happy I completed it. It's always fun when you complete a project. But that was my little haul from Hobby Lobby. So now that I know how I found a, a way to get there that isn't as far, Maybe I'll go there once in a while. That was like the, the second time I went. And I keep stopping in at Walmart. Supposedly Walmart's been having clearance. And uh, my yarn section at Walmart looks like a mess. <laughs> so I go there a lot. So hopefully I'll, I'll find some deals there before the week is over. It's going to happen, I guess. Everybody else is getting it. <laughs> It happened at the Hobby Lobby. They just didn't do it so fast by me. I mean, I'm in South Florida. I'm surprised so many people uh, crochet over here. <laughs> you would, it's not like we wear winter hats, so it's too hot here. Anyway, thanks for dropping in. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. And I'll subscribe to yours if you have a crochet video. And... Uh, and hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have some new project in, in the works. I really, nothing else to talk about. <laughs> but enjoy doing that. And uh, you have a great day.